Welcome friends. In this video, we will be learning how to remember all the trigonometric ratios of allied angles. Studying trigonometry, you might have come across these trigonometric ratios of allied angles like most of them are shown here. You might be finding it hard to remember them all. I will show you a trick with which you will be able to learn all these trigonometric ratios without memorizing them. Now, observe these ratios carefully. The place where everyone finds hard to remember is which trigonometric ratio will come next or what will be its sign, positive or negative. I will show you the trick for both of these problems. First, we will only talk about the sign system. We all know our Cartesian planes looks like this. All the values on the right side are positive. And all the values on the left side of our Cartesian plane are negative. All the values above x-axis are positive. And all the values below x-axis are negative. There are total 4 quadrants in our Cartesian plane. Now, when we measure all the trigonometric ratios in various quadrants, it makes a difference in sign. Because Sides in various quadrants, signs different, positive and negative. To remember which trigonometric ratio will be positive or negative in which quadrant, we must remember a simple sentence called add sugar to coffee. Divide these four words in four quadrants. Observe the first letter of each word. For the first quadrant only, A stands for all trigonometric ratios, which implies in the first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios are positive. For the second quadrant, S stands for sine, and we all know opposite of sine is cosec, which implies all the trigonometric ratios other than sine and cosec in second quadrant are negative. For third quadrant, T stands for tan and the opposite of tan is cot, which implies all the trigonometric ratios in the third quadrant other than tan and cot are negative. For the fourth quadrant, C stands for cos and opposite of cos is sec which implies in the in the fourth quadrant cos and sec are the only positive trigonometric ratios and others are negative now we have solved the problem of sine positive and negative second problem is which trigonometric ratio will come next observe this elliot angles carefully what we find is the first term is multiple of 90 so similarly, 90 minus theta can be written as 90 into 1 minus theta. 180 minus theta can be written as 90 into 2 minus theta. 270 minus theta can be written as 90 into 3 minus theta. Now let us take an example here as sin 180 minus theta. This can again be written as sin 90 into 2 minus theta. Now observe the multiple. Here two cases arises. If the multiple is odd, then sine will change into cos or cos will change into sine. Cosec will change into sec or sec will change into cosec. Tan will change into cot or cot will change into tan. And if the multiple is even, then there will not be any change in the trigonometric ratio. Sine will remain as sine only. Now let us take an example here as sine 180 minus theta. We know that 180 minus theta will be there in second quadrant only. Apply the trick add sugar to coffee. Now in the second quadrant sine and cosec are only the positive trigonometric ratio and others are negative. We have taken here sine only. Hence, whatever will be the result, the sign will be positive only. Now we must get the result of ratio sin 180 minus theta. 
This ratio can again be written as sin 90 into 2 minus theta. Observe the multiple. The multiple here is even. As discussed earlier, there will not if the multiple is even, then there will not be any change in the trigonometric ratio and the answer will be sin theta only. Now let us take one more example here as sin 270 plus theta. We know that 270 plus theta will lie in fourth quadrant only. Now apply the trick add sugar to coffee. Hence from this we got that in fourth quadrant cos and sec are only the trigonometric ratios which are positive and others are negative. But we have taken here as sine. So from this we got that whatever will be the result of this uh, result of this trigonometric ratio, the sign will be negative only. Now we must find what will be the result of sine 270 plus theta. This can be again written as sine 90 into 3 plus theta. Now observe the multiple. Here multiple is odd. As discussed earlier, if the multiple is odd, then sin changes into cos or cos changes into sin, cosec changes into sec and sec changes into cosec, tan changes into cot and cot changes into tan. Here we have taken sin as a trigonometric ratio and this sin will change into cos and the answer will be and the answer will be minus cos theta. Thank you. I hope that it will be helpful.